Hey Kingdom family, my name is Candy Nicole and welcome back to A Rise in Glory. So I'm just this is gonna be a talk today, okay? Um there will not be any Bible verses today, but the Lord has been speaking to me, and I know I'm not the only person in this season. So if it's for you, catch it and use it however you may use it. I hope you can find something in what I may say. Holy Spirit, come say whatever you like. So um, this morning I woke up and I was kind of in a, <sighs> okay, sometimes we wake up in our, in our current situation. We know things are changing very slowly, but you're still in this. Okay, I'm still in this. Okay. All right, Jesus. I start talking about what I don't want, what I don't like. And I said, girl, if you don't stop, change it up. So I start changing it up. And I start declaring what I do want to see instead of everything I don't want to see and everything I don't like. I start declaring what I do want and what I do want to see and how I'm about to see it. Okay, let me see it. I'm about to see it. So after that, I said, God, this particular situation, someone the other day, you know, they see too. And they were telling me how um, they were going <laughs> to, we were talking about a certain avenue that God had told us us to go on and how they were going to open the door for me basically or they were going before me they were going to be like opening the door and I understood that it was kindness but God has made it very clear in this season that I am going to be the head and not the tail he's made it very clear that I'm not going to be at the bottom but I'm going to be at the top and not in a way of being at the top and looking down at people but being at the top and being able to hold my own because he's going to provide okay so my father's going to provide in this season and don't get me wrong. It's not a prideful thing. Like if that's how he was going to provide, then that's cool. But he told me, no, he going to do it. He not letting nobody get in the glory for what he about to do. He about to do it. So I was talking to him about that. And I was like, God, you already told me you're going to handle this for me. And I start hearing Webby. I got that. Mm. I got that. Mm, I got that. And so I just bust out laughing. And I'm like, okay, Jesus. Yeah, you got that. You got that. Um, so one thing I want to tell y'all is y'all don't have to accept everything everybody tell you. Even a prophetic voice, a prophet, you don't have to accept everything everybody tell you. If it don't align with your spirit and what God done been telling you, then that ain't for you. I, you know, thank you, but... I'm not, I'm going to take that back to God. You need to take everything back to God. Everything that you're listening to, every prophetic voice that you're hearing, you need to take them words back to God and say, is that for me? Because some people, y'all taking in things, thinking it's for you, and it ain't even for you. You got to have a relationship with God to where you might hear it, but you're like, God, is that for me? There's a lot of things I might listen to and I say, all right, God, tell me a little bit more about that. You know, like, I'm going to leave that on the table. Tell me a little bit more about that. Don't accept everything everybody tell y'all, okay? Um, the next thing is, he was speaking to me. I went to Walmart today. And um, I went looking like the, little, the the boys' department. Summer's coming, so it's like about time to get my kids some, some more clothes. Um, one of them is outgrowing stuff. So I went to see exactly what they have. Um, you know, like, Walmart be like the graphic tees and stuff y'all i'm very particular about what i'm buying lately if you notice the tees that be at walmart y'all they be like they be having like demonic symbols in them like you really gotta like use your um what's the word i can't think of the word intuition not intuition you know what i'm talking about it's a spiritual thing okay like yeah, you need to examine them shirts real well to see if they got some hidden agendas in the shirt. And I'm serious. Y'all go to Walmart and look on that table where they have all them shirts at. Some of them shirts got some demonic stuff in it if you really look at it. Like, um, the other day, a while back, I bought a shirt. It was like a dollar, okay, on, on that little table. It went on sale. And I just bought it. And it had Nirvana on it. And God put it on my heart like, I'm getting off topic in a way, but not really. God, Holy Spirit must want to talk about this. God put it on my heart to go look up Nirvana. Like, what does it mean, right? And it's like something about I wish I wasn't even gonna speak about this. It had something regarding a whole nother religion. 
in euphoria. And I said, oh, that's why you that's why you put that shirt in front of me. I took that shirt, balled it up, and put it in the trash can. I, you don't be knowing what you're buying. Like, pay attention to what you're buying at Walmart. Anyway, I went look at the graphic tees or whatever. And I'm like, okay, I'm about to get my kids some stuff or whatever. And I just kind of got disappointed in their father. I'm going to just put it that way. And how he's handling some things right now. And I'm just like, okay. I had that, that, that thought like, okay, I'm doing all this by myself. And Holy Spirit was like, no, you're not. Hello. And I said, oh, yeah, you're right, because you, you provide. You have provided. You know what I'm saying? Like, you take care of me. So I had to remember that, right? Then I went to another aisle, and some man approached me, and he was trying to have conversation. And he was kind. I kept it kind or whatever. Um, but, of course, at the end of the conversation, he, was, he asked me, you know, like, um, are you dating? And I told him, I'm dating Jesus right now. And he said, oh, I understand. And then um, I got back in my car and I put my music on. I had playing, like a station or whatever. Uh, you know, you play it on your, your phone stations. The next song that comes on is <laughs> Pastor Mike. I'm single and I love it. When it's my time, it'll be the right time. But until then, I'm single and I love it, yeah. And so I'm listening to the lyrics singing along and I'm just realizing what just happened. And how I'm like, oh, you lined that up. <laughs> you lined that up. You wanted to discuss this. You wanted to get into a topic, God, right? And um, so many people talk about marriage and kingdom marriage. But they don't talk about this stage before that. This stage of like healing and God really showing you what love is. And so many times, like I remember when I was married I kind of idolized marriage like I thought I had to be married or um, yeah it's like or you know like I put up with things because I thought I had like that like that was the goal the goal was marriage or I guess in many ways I'm admitting now maybe I didn't want to be alone but then God started showing me that yes I was married but I actually was alone because I did everything alone like I had the title of it, but that's it. That's all I had was the title and a body that would come home. That's it. That's all I had. I had nothing else. So I didn't have emotional support. That wasn't a marriage. Really? You know, or, or that's not what he designed it to be. So I had to come out of that idolization of marriage when I was in my marriage. Okay. Then God has just been showing up so heavy and it's come to a realization that like I'm really the bride of Christ and you are too I'm really the bride of Christ and like right now I was being honest with homeboy I'm dating Jesus I am literally dating Jesus y'all like as I go through my day Holy Spirit is speaking to me as I like that's why I keep the notebook on the side of me to, to remember like I'm never alone I'm never alone. Throughout my day, I'm writing down what Holy Spirit's telling me. He's constantly communicating with me. He's constantly loving on me. And that's a season that's before marriage that you are literally dating Jesus, where you are getting to know yourself. And it's, you don't even want to date nobody else. Like, I had absolutely, he wasn't like an ugly dude or nothing. I had no desires. Like, I was I was just thinking, can we end this conversation? Like, I just want to hear him tell you I'm dating Jesus. Like, I got a man. <laughs> Jesus. Like, <laughs> I really just wanted to end the conversation. But even in the song, when I got in the car, Pastor Mike's song, I'm singing and I love it. And at the end of it, it says, I feel you should know. You don't know what love is. And I realized, like, I've heard this before. God has given it to me. Um, like he's given me this song prior in the past and that part he would keep repeating. I feel you should know you don't know what love is. And I really didn't like, I really didn't know what love was. And now I'm starting to know what love is because God is showing out and showing up so heavily and showing me love in every way. And it's something about dating Jesus or being the bride of Christ and being in that covenant relationship with him 
it's a love like you have never known. Like you, I'm hearing, I never knew a love like this before. You never knew a love like this before. And even though it seems like you're single, like you don't have a man, you don't have a woman, but you literally are totally complete. And you honestly should be totally complete within yourself before you get into a relationship. Like there's nothing in me that wants to rush into a relationship. Actually, there's really nothing in me that even want one right now. But maybe one day that'll change. God's timing, he'll know when the time is. But for now, it's good. And I just really feel like there should be more words where people are telling you to enjoy your single season. Enjoy your time alone a t enjoy your time of freedom enjoy your time of god assuring you who you really are and who he created you to be and stepping into your full power of who you really are and the love of christ that's going to surround you during that time but that's my talk for today it's just to tell y'all you know if god is calling you out of a negative relationship and you have some f kind of fear of being alone just know that you're never alone. And if you are in your single season, don't even rush or think about it. When it's time for that person to come, you'll be ready. But until then, enjoy the moment. Enjoy the moment and the season that you are in. I know y'all are having a wonderful day. Um, if not, you're going to start declaring that today's going to be a good day. Today is going to be better than yesterday. Tomorrow is going to be better than today because only better days are ahead of you. I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.